welcome back to my channel welcome i hope that everyone is having a good day or an evening and today's video is going to be a haul video i haven't done one for a while um so this is basically i would say it would cover from let's see i would say like march april not you know all this was not bought in in, in one day so Okay, so I'm just going to start. I would say, let's see. Okay, so the pre, uh, the three primary places that I did shop from, these are either from um, Amazon, Target, or a few things from Dollar General. So, okay, with that said, I'm going to jump right in. I figure I will do the supplies first. I'm not going to swatch anything, you know, because that would just take too long. If you do want to see anything in particular, just comment down below and I would, you know, swatch them or let you know how they, I like them. Now, all of these may not, you know, I'm sure everything is not new. I know everything is not brand new, but it's new to me. So, okay, with that said, let's get started. Okay, so my first item that I'm going to show, I have to say right off that the Coloring Diva that it's her fault <laughs> I'm just kidding um I will link her channel down below the coloring diva she has some oh my gosh her holes are like ah anyway she had hauled these uh pencils these are from Amazon mark art collection of 48 and like everyone else, you know, I didn't really want to get any budget friendly. You know, you have the Castle Arts, the shuttle. Wait a minute, I'm getting confused. You know the the the, the um what is the uh, the Star Joy, um the Amazon Basics. It's just a lot. But when I saw her swatch out these pencils and her opinion on them, they just and the price, the price point, it was just too good to be true. So. I believe they're still on Amazon. I will try to link. I say I link things and a lot of times I forget. But they were, when I got them, $16.99. So right here, it says on the back, okay, just not going to read you everything. But these are, it says they're professional oil colored drawing pencils, high quality. Um, they say it, you know, they lay down well and smooth and the four millimeter thick lead is oil based, pre sharpened. Okay, we all we all know what that. Um, they have the color chart. I'm gonna open them here. And the colors. I remember when I was looking at when she was reviewing them. Oh my gosh, the colors are very 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 pretty colors. Look at these colors. Now they do come in a uh, a cardboard box. I I took them out of that. Very well packaged, but look at these, um, like here, it's like almost like these beautiful pastel colors and just, if you can see the, they feel very good. They just have the number on them, but they do have on these right here on the tin, they do have then the number and the, uh, the color name which I think is nice. And then this is the second, right here is the second tray. Um, and there was one color that Monet, that's the coloring diva swatch. I can't, let me see, it was a green. And it was a very unique color. And that really like sold me too. It was a very beautiful, like unique uh, green. And like I said, um, Look at this. Oh my gosh, these purples. I just think they're really beautiful. And when I did, I mean, I have to sharpen them and all, but I did just take one out, you know, to see how it felt. And they are just what she said. They are smooth. They are creamy. I mean, they, they really are. The pigment is there, definitely. So, okay, I don't want to spend too much on that. All I can say is 
I had to get them after I saw her review. That's all I can say. They're beautiful pencils. And like I said, the price point is perfect. And yeah, that's okay. So th that's it. It's funny when we get pencils, it's like they're a baby. Okay, so that's the first item right there. Those were the only, are those the only pencils? Okay, I think so. Okay, so the next thing I bought, now this is um, Sharpie, and these are paint pens. Now, what I liked when I saw these, of course, I like the pastel colors. I also like that it's water-based. Um, I know the oil usually has a stronger uh, scent, but um, these look really interesting. These are, I know these were from Target. Yes, I did get these from Target. And like I said, I'm not opening anything for just the sake of time, but um, just want to read you the names of the colors. So this one is Lavender... Lavender, okay, lavender. <laughs> I can't read the second. Okay, this is pink rose. This is too light. I can't read it. <laughs> this tangerine orange, like this one says aqua turquoise, and this one is blue. Yeah, and now this has a extra fine tip. So, you know, when you're getting in, like, you can use it on black, um, you could use it on white. Um, and I think it would look really nice for accents and different things. So, okay, let me put that to the side. Big Intensity. I have the Big Intensity. Um, I like them. Let's see, I think. So, yeah, I have this. This is the Ultra Fine Point permanent marker these are great these along with the sharpies um i've used these a bit more i like the sharpies too but i use these a bit more because the sharpies some of them have i don't know they just have sometimes the smell bothers me i have some issues going on so it depends anyway okay right here is the bic intensity dual tip markers so this has 12 assorted colors. It's a marker pen. So you have your brush tip right here. You have your fine tip. Now it says new here. I don't know how long that sticker, that sticker could have been on here for years, you know, but it says new here. I don't know how new. This was from Target. And I didn't even, let's see. I just want to see, get one. Let's see, try the... Let's see, try the purple. I really, I like big qualities. I mean, they've been around a long time, so I'm pretty positive that I'm gonna like them. So this is how they come right here. The brush tip, oh, I like this brush tip. Oh, this is a really, very vibrant, very pretty color. You can see, it's a very pretty color. And this is the this is the fine tip right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, this would really, yeah, I think I'm gonna like these. I mean, you never have enough markers, right? Never have enough markers or pens. Pens, pencils, coloring books. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Okay, now these are, they have, I know they have a very, a newer version of our teaser super glitter pens. I did not get the super glitter. Um, I had these years ago when I first started coloring. I mean, it wasn't on YouTube, but I loved my glitter pens. That's all I used. That's all, I didn't use pencils. I used glitter pens and these were like one of my sets that I liked. It was these. Arteza, now this has uh, 14 glitter gel pens. I like the Arteza, I like the color it, and I like the Tanmit, Tanit, I think they're called, from Amazon. Um, the ones that have the glitter, the neon, the pastel. Now these are strictly all glitter. 
Okay. Oh, one of them. Okay, the top is off. Okay, but this is the blue. They are extremely, very, very, very smooth. And to me, the glitter, they're highly, highly, highly uh, glitter. I mean, I've seen some with a bit more, but uh, I don't know if you could, if I'm trying to turn it. Okay. So, like I said, these, if you need a, you know, a swatch video, just let me know. But, um, you know, Arteza is a good brand. I like their products. And I needed some more gel. Okay, so I just, I opened it off camera. So I just pulled out just to see. This is this pretty pink and this kind of tangerine. Let's see. Hmm, this is more like of a, I would say of a yellow. It's not really, not like a, it's like a unique color, like a yellow orange. Okay, and this one, I like this color. This is just to get a quick idea of what they they look like. And that's that's right there. That's that pink. They're a little darker than I thought, but they were not a bad price. I believe these were like six something or so. Three, four, five. Yeah, about maybe six dollars. So you figure you paint you're about a dollar for each. So that wasn't bad. And it's always good to have like, you know, for accents and stuff. So, okay. Now these are very, very um, common. <laughs> these are the, um, I have the Crayola Twistables and these are 24. These are the, the um, mini, the mini Twistables. Um, I do have the other ones and actually, you know, after I placed this order, I realized that, wait a minute, I do have the, um, I'm, look, if it's too much to get into, <laughs> we, all, we all know what the Crayola Twistables are. Um, but anyway, it's a 24 pack and these are the colors. And yeah, the twistables are good, I feel, because you don't have to um, uh, sharpen them. So I thought maybe of doing like maybe a whole um, page one day just with strictly with um, twistables. I have seen people use them and I like how they look. I mean, you know, they look fine. Okay, so the next, this is the last, I'm just making sure, this is the last item as far as supplies. Um... This is, actually this is like not a name brand. This is from Target. Uh, U Brands Gel Pens. These are 30 colors. Now, what I like is that it has, already has a case. I always like gel pens that have a case, um, cloth, like the, I believe the color it has a cloth. So I like that. Um, so you get 12 glitter. You get nine pastel, six neon, three classic, and an acrylic case. <laughs> so, um, let's see. These I did open. And this is the, uh, the case it comes in. And yeah, this is your, well, as you can see, the, your, um, the pastel colors and your neons are over here. And the glitter and like I said I I like glitter um, pens I used that's all I really used before when I first started coloring so I'm just gonna swatch the red one and I think actually for like a no-name type of um, brand 
because these are from, did I say, yeah, these are from Target. Um, you know, they started right away. The flow was good. And right here, let's see, you have to hold these and see where, if you can see the glitter. I'm sorry if you can't see the glitter, but um, actually it is not bad as far as for the glitter. And let's see, I'm just gonna do a pastel and then I'll put them away. So this is really, well, did I say that? Let me see, does it have the, I could leave a link. So with more information as far as the size, because I don't know the size of the point. And this is the pink. It's a nice bubble gum. This might actually be, is this pastel? This might be neon pink, actually. That's kind of bright. But it's pretty nice. It really is nice. It didn't it didn't seem to skip really at all. You know, sometimes I would find the neon or the other if the ones that weren't glitter, like the neon ones, sometimes, you know, they would skip. It depends. Okay, so let's move on. That's as far as the, supp the supplies. Okay, and I am not... So I'm good um, with buying. Like, I'm not going to be buying, like, anything major. Anything major right now. Okay, so let's just start into the coloring. Let's start into the coloring books. I'm sorry. I'm leaning down. I'm getting the coloring books. Okay, I figured I'd pull out the first one that everyone I'm sure has or is getting or planning to get. The Johanna Bassford's The New One, World of Wonders. Um, a beautiful book. I'm not going to... We've all seen the... <laughs> We've all seen the flip throughs. Um, I haven't, of course, I'm anxious to um, color in them. I'm not, I don't know which page I'm gonna start in, but you know, it's it's really pr a pretty book. It's, hard, it's a bit different than her usual books, but it's really classic Johanna uh, Bassford. So, and I believe there's a, well, there's a few coming out, new ones actually. Another author, I never know, author illustrator that I like is Deborah Mueller. I have a few of her books. This is a new one, and this is called Fairy Wedding. This is a such a pretty book. Just really pretty. Um the flowers and the angels and the big eyes and the, you know, the unicorns. And it's just so, so, I, I really like it. So yeah, I, I believe this is her latest. It's not her latest, it's one of her latest, but yes, you know, I just had to. Look how cute. And she usually puts animals in, the little dogs, deers, bunnies. I think it's such a pretty book. So, yeah, I know. I, I just had to get it. <laughs> okay, now this next book uh, by Grazio Salvo. Um, I have one other book from her, Flowers and Gems. Um, I wish I can get them all. I like her. What is it? Wild Soul. I love all of her books are beautiful. So it was this one and there was another one. Um, I can't remember the other one. But the other one was sold out. So I was only, a, I was only, a, can't talk, only able to get this one. This is Black Outline colored, Coloring Book. And these are the, uh, the images beautiful images um i'm sure you've seen flip throughs of this book so i'm not you know i'm not going to do a flip through but i love the um i love her books you know they're just really gorgeous the paper is um excellent just excellent paper 
So I really look forward to, um, you know, especially spring, summer, doing it with the flowers, any time of year, really. But yeah, so I got, okay, this one. And then next is, I also like very much Demita Victoria. Demita Victoria, I know she brings out, she has, um, a lot of books. I have a lot of books of hers and hello spring, ready for spring. So, oh wait, let me see on the back if you can see. And mostly it's spring scenes, it's flowers, it's the porch, it's like running, there's a waterfall here. And beautiful book. I like that for her book, she has the black background. And usually I'm, I'm fine like with alcohol mark. Well, with any of these books, if you put something, you put your your protector there or you put a sheet there, um, it's, she has the part one and part two. So you get double pages and yeah. Um, this book I think was on like the sale part because I got it pretty much, if, she, if you get it when she's just putting it out, it'll be like three or $4 cheaper than the regular price. Okay, so now these are Creative Haven. These aren't all, I see there's a lot of new ones coming out, like in May, June, July, but I chose, let me see, I have uh, four. Four here, um, unicorns, you know there's, I like these, um, which I think a lot of us do, the fantasy images, the, um, excuse me, the, um, wow, this is really pretty. This is very intricate. The fantasy land, I was going to say fantasy island, the fantasy land type of um, images and pictures, so really pretty, the unicorns. Okay, this one, fanciful uh, faces. This is another very pretty book. Um, what I like is that um, Creative Haven, I don't see a lot of like portraits. So when I saw this, I really liked it. The, um, you can see the dark eyes are emphasized in most of them. Now, some of them are very intricate, but some of them I find, you know, it's, it's really not, you know, that bad. I think it's really, really pretty and unique. That's the back of it how pretty that is so yeah like I said these aren't brand new but they're new to me <laughs> so okay fanciful faces and oh I'm not oh I was trying to look for the author okay well I don't I don't see the author I can try and link that okay this one oh I see the author right here this is summer scenes Teresa Goodridge. Teresa Goodridge, I know there's a lot of um, pretty books. And that's just what this is. Beautiful summer scenes. And yeah, really pretty. Really nice. And the last one from Creative Haven is uh, Creative Kittens. Marjorie Sarnat, Sarnat, and this is adorable. How cute is this? Oh, you know, I didn't check to see. Oh, I didn't realize that on the back. Oh, okay. I didn't realize on the back there was pictures of them, um, an illustrated picture, a painted picture. So these are, how cute with the cats. I love cats. Well, I love all animals. I have allergies, so I cannot have anything but maybe some fish. And that's not the same. But yeah, these are these are the um, creative kittens. Okay, so we are almost done. Um, What I'm gonna bring up now, actually, I left this to the side. 
I was in not I was in Dollar Oh General. I haven't been in Dollar General in a while. Um, but I needed some things and also uh we were passing Dollar General, so I went to Dollar General. Um so I got like I needed more pencils, but you know, I think they were like three dollars. These are metallic colored pencils, and as you see, you get add a touch of metallic shimmer, and there's 12 pre-sharpened, oops, um, I just actually just, you know, this is how they look, but I just picked them up. Okay, so that was, this is another from Dollar General, as you can see, let's see. I believe these are all three. I don't know if these are one. If they're not one, they were three. Nothing's more than three. Paint sticks, and you have your, let's see, smooth and vibrant. You have your five. I haven't even opened these. This I just got yesterday, but it says it is great for creating posters, large projects, and more bold, brilliant strokes. So yeah, um, yeah, I'll see. I'll see how they work. Um, and then I had to see these. <laughs> these are metallic markers, as you see right here. These are $3. This is Detail Coloring Assorted Ink. So three, let's see what it says on the back. Vibrant metallic ink, okay. For use on paper, cards, and more. Yeah, so I'll see how these work. I like, well, the outside looks pretty. Like, let's see. And you get eight. Okay. 12 colored gel pens. Artist quality. Works on both light and dark surfaces. You get 12 of these. And these are, yes, all glitter. And then I also, I wanted to say, I am going to be having a giveaway soon. I will be coming up on a milestone when I do not know, but hopefully soon that will be of 500. And um, I probably will ask a question because I was thinking of would you, rather like supplies or I know most of us like Amazon um, or Dollar Tree or a gift card. So that's what I'm thinking right now. So I'm saying, I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take a month or two, but I will pose the question and then you can let me know which you prefer. You prefer. Okay. Let me finish up here. So these are from Benton. I guess, um, as you can see, these are all the same, you know, the price, Amazing Grace. Honestly, the covers get me. And, you know, the sayings, I like these. And, um, you know, they have some quotes and Bible scriptures. Some of them are large. Some of them are not. Some of them are intricate, like this butterfly, I think is very pretty. And then this one is contemporary, oh, okay, Gardens. More flowers. Actually, you know, the paper is really not that flimsy. Like, I really think it's honestly for like, a, you know, a dollar type of store, the paper is really kind of thick. And I think the images are really not. Look at this. I don't think the images are really even that bad. Now see these, okay, that would like, sometimes it's <laughs> I think they're really pretty. Okay, so gardens. Then I got Let There Be Love. And this one. Love Grows Here. Again, the paper is not bad to me. Do all things with love. You know, sayings, positive quotes. And yeah. And the last one is butterflies. 
and I love the butterflies, the nature, the flowers, all that. I see some of them are very dark, some of them are very big, and some of them there's like a there's like a good mixture. Is that's what I mean. Oh, this is very pretty. The dream cat, the dream catcher. Okay. So that one, okay, so that was, that's what I got from the Dollar General. And this is the last. Okay. These are the last. Now, these actually I gotten in, this is April. This is like, I'm going to say maybe begin, no, beginning of March. Um, These are all, are they all coloring? No. Yeah. Okay, it's Coloring Book Cafe. So I'm just gonna do these real quick because I know this video I'm gonna have to, I don't want it to be too long. But this is um, Beautiful Mermaids Coloring Book Cafe. These are some of the samples. I don't know. Your color chart in the back. I'll just flip through some of them. How cute. Oh my goodness, I didn't see this one with the little fish. Oh. Yeah, I like mer. You know, who doesn't like the mermaids, right? Okay, the mermaids. Then this one is Ocean Village. Now these I got from Amazon. That that I'm sure of. Ocean Village. Um, basically the ocean. <laughs> these I had seen actually. I forget where I saw them, but this is like a series. Um, I don't have all of these books. The the Reverie, I'm going to say, fantasy art. So, I got the August Reverie. This is by Vivid Publishers. This, these, um, the two I got um, from Amazon. I'm trying to see which one is... This, um, let's see, this artwork, um, honestly, some of them remind me a little bit of the, um, this is the older one, um, Hannah Carlson, Carlson, you know how, like, she has with the, um, the flowers, anyway, yeah, this is, um, I just like this book, okay, and then, you know, you can't get all of them. This one is the last one. August Reverie, Fantasy Art, Adult Coloring. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I won't even attempt to pronounce that name. But very pretty. We have here, the content is very small if you can see, but very pretty books. Yeah, so thank you if you have stayed till the end of this video. Oh, here, okay. One, two, three. So there's like, as of now, I believe there's six in the whole series. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, these are really, really pretty books. Okay, on that note, Thank you if you stayed to the whole, the end of this video. And let me know down below if you want to uh, flip through or a review of any of the products that I showed. I would um, not mind at all. And I'm even going to try to use some, upload more so you could see. Like some of the, you know, do a page with just strictly like the glitter pens that I bought. Anyway, enough of me um, talking. If you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button. And I will hope you have a great day. Please stay safe, be well, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.